Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, we're going to do search and replace, which is, I believe, the fifth challenge in the intermediate section. Uh, let me just double check and verify that. Uh, click in here on the map, and oh, it never goes to where I left it. Um, let's see here, intermediate algorithm scripting, and yep, that looks like one, two, three, four, five. Yep, it's the fifth one. And it's called search and replace. Um, compared to the uh, last couple of challenges that we did, this one is quite easy. Um, so let's take a look at it. Perform a search and replace on the sentence using the arguments provided and return the new sentence. So uh, return a new string. The first argument is the sentence to perform the search and replace on. The second argument is the word that you will be replacing, and that argument is called before. Uh, the third argument is what you will be replacing the second argument with, and that argument is called after. So this is the string, this is the word that we want to replace, and this is uh, the new word uh, that's going to replace before. Okay, um, now here's a special caveat uh, that makes this challenge uh, you know, more intermediate, but it's still rather easy. Preserve the case of the original word when you are replacing it. For example, if you mean to replace the word book, notice the capital B, with the word dog, and to notice here that argument has the lowercase d, it should re be replaced as dog with a capital D. Uh, so anyway, here are the five uh, test cases that you can take a look at. Um, they give us some uh, some uh, array and string methods that we can possibly use. Splice, replace, and join. Um, I don't think I'll be using join, um, but uh, I definitely will be using replace and also splice. So with that in mind, and let's go into the text editor, as we always do. I created a new JavaScript file, search and replace.js, and I already went ahead and embedded that on line 11 of my example.html file. Now, um, very simply, uh, to make this work, return, um, and all we have to do is say str replace before after. And just this one line should make this simple test work. So I saved it. Let me go to the example.html file. Let me go to my developer tools. Open up that JavaScript console. Okay, I'm going to clear that out, refresh the page. And a quick brown fox leaped over the lazy dog. And hey, that works because, uh, look, um, uh, before it was jumped, and uh, we replaced it with leaped. That's wonderful. Uh, so now imagine, imagine this. Imagine, um, uh, imagine that instead of this lowercase j, we have a capitalized j. All right, and if I ran the test again, all right, I get, uh, um, I still get the same sentence, but um, according to the um, the rules and the directions, we need to preserve the case of the original word. So the original word in this new example is uh, capitalized and, um, and leaped, if we looked at it in the console, is not capitalized. So we just need to uh, create a simple if statement that checks for this. And um, if it is indeed, um, if the original word is indeed like capitalized, then we just have to alter um, uh, the after argument, the third argument. So let's set up a condition. So if before dot char at zero. So basically, um, uh, th that's essentially the same as doing this. You know, uh, I could do this just as well. Um, I like to use square brackets uh, for arrays and stuff like that, but that's totally like a personal preference. But anyway, if before dot char at zero, so if the first letter, okay, if that is equal to before char at zero to upper case, okay. 
All right, then we're just going to capitalize the uh, after. So after equals after dot char at zero to uppercase. Let's put that there. Uh, plus um, after slice one. Okay. All right, and let me just save that, refresh it. And there you go, you see that leaped uh, has the uh, capitalized L because it is um, preserving the uh, case of the before argument. All right, and just to make sure that this works well with the Free Code Count website, let's go in and let's uh, just paste that sucker right in here. Control Enter, look at that tubular. Don't you just love these Free Code Camp messages? They're pretty sweet. Okay, so pretty simple script. Um, I'm not even gonna write another version of this, but I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can think of, you know, at least five solutions to this uh, possible problem. But let's check. All right, we know we know how this replace method works. Um, in this case, we use the string for the first argument. You can also use a regular expression. Uh, and a regular expression, it, remember, it kind of has these two slashes and has some like kind of funky uh, sort of syntax going on. Um, it kind of looks like that. Anyway, we don't need a regular expression. We get just pass in a string, in this case, the second argument. And we're just replacing it with the, uh, with, with this. That's it. It's very simple to do. Now, um, in order to preserve the case, we're going to have to create some sort of condition. So if the first character um, of, um, of this argument here, okay, if the first character is, um, well, basically, uh, we're getting the first character of the before argument, all right, so J right here, and then we're checking to see if it's um, the same thing capitalized. And if it is, uh, so basically, this is checking if the uh, first letter of the uh, before argument is capitalized. If it is capitalized, we're just going to capitalize the first letter of the after argument. And we do that by, uh, by this. So we uh, uh, basically, we just say char at um, zero to uppercase plus after dot slice one. Remember, um, this is going to start at the um, at the first index, index one, and because it doesn't have a second uh, argument in there, it's just going to select everything to the end, um, and then we have a capitalized string stored there, and uh, that's how it works. So uh, compared to the uh, last couple of challenges, pretty simple and straightforward. Um, I got ahead and I uh, already coded some of the uh, challenges for, um, for, for, you know, what's coming up and, um, and the heat, you know, gets cranked up a little bit. So free code camp, they know what they're doing. Uh, we had a, you know, a difficult challenge before with the Roman numeral numerals and where art thou. Uh, they're not cruel people. They decided, hey, okay, you did a, you did enough work. Here's an easy challenge, and uh, and what's coming up? It's going to be a lot more difficult. So if you thought that was easy, don't get ahead of yourself. It will get more challenging. Okay, so um, I don't have to worry about time in this video. <laughs> I usually have to scram uh, until the end. Um, by the way, if you have a recommendation for better screen capturing software, I would love to hear from you. Um, right now I'm using Screencast-O-Matic. You can probably see the watermark uh, somewhere along the bottom. Um, and while I like it, I, I like this cool like mouse effect right here. I think that's cool. I can click and stuff and you can see my clicks. Um, there's There's got to be some better stuff out there that's also free and allows me to record more more than uh, 15 minutes. So if you have a suggestion for screen capture software, please let me know. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement for this video series, please let me know in the comments below. That would be ever so helpful. Thank you so, for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next challenge. Goodbye!